Kling AI Consistent Character Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build consistent characters using Kling AI. Kling AI is your all-in-one creative studio which can help you in building hyper-realistic, fantasy and creative art styles. So no matter what you're trying to build, you can easily do it with Kling AI. To get started, simply click on create on the top right. Once you click on create, this will open up the Kling AI application. So we're going to open up the Kling AI application and we can get started with our email address. That is all you need to get started. Whenever you create your account using your email address, you get a certain number of credits for free. You will see these on your left. You can click on your credit activity to see whether or not you have any remaining credits, how you consume them, how many you've purchased, and how many you have obtained. These credits reset every month so you can get free credits after a month. Now, when you're looking to build characters, especially if you're looking to build consistent characters, this might be used for branding. This might be used for other types of art styles that you might be looking to create social media content or anything else. To get started, simply click on image on the left and this will open up your image generator, your video generator, as well as your sound generator. Now within this, you're going to go into effects and you can add effects and build effects in pre-existing images or videos. But if you're looking to build characters, you can do this in two formats. Either you can upload a image reference or you can directly use text to image. So we're going to be using our basic text to image function first. First off, I'm going to ask it to create woman in her mid 20s with dark black hair, big eyes and a glasses. She is tall at 5'7 and has a slender body. Now, when you first put in this prompt, this will create your first output, which is basically going to be your primary character that you're creating. Once you create your primary character, then you're going to start building on consistency and consistently creating the same character over again. So I am going to be creating this simple character, and this is what it has created. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this, and once I have downloaded this, I can proceed with editing. So to get started with editing, I can go into image generation and then I can go into image reference. Now you have element reference and you also have single reference. You can go into subject and you can choose that subject and have it be added into different images or different scenes. And that is how you can use a consistent character. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to click on history over here to use one of my history, one of my images that I just generated, which is this one. I can click on history here and pick out this image. So now as you guys can see, it has taken our reference image and it has just zoomed it out a little because we made the subject reference very high. So we might want to decrease the subject reference to around 48 and the face reference. So means more reference to the face of the subject. We're going to tone this down a little. And the subject is shopping wearing a pink dress looking at jewelry and we're gonna redo this. Now, again, if you actually ask it to generate more outputs for you, if you have multiple different outputs that can give you better results, that can help you in finding the right pick and the right balance between generating, you know, very consistent characters and having them be in multiple different types of situations. Now, alongside this, when you're generating on Kling AI, you can see now she's wearing a pink dress and she is looking at the camera. There's a mall behind her. So we have this very consistent face. Now, if you go into the single reference and then go into face instead of subject, you can proceed and the girl is shopping and wearing a pink dress looking at jewelry and then we have our reference strength now we're going to keep this reference strength at around 52 percent and then i'm going to show you guys the differences between using a single reference subject versus using a single reference face so if you want to restyle you also have that and then entire image references that you can also upload and with building consistent characters if you have multiple different characters or one singular character that's going to be very impactful so i'm going to wait until this has been created and you guys can see this is the same exact girl and now she is shopping and looking at jewelry and you guys can see if you do a single reference face this is able to create really nice 
visuals for your characters, especially when it comes to just the face. Now, if you have a character with very specific body tattoos or body elements, a very distinctive figure, then the, using the subject reference is going to be better for you rather than using the face reference. Now, you can also use the restyle tool. This restyle tool enables you to make this in a classic cartoon style, anime style, 3D style, so you can basically change the art style that is used. Then you have the entire image reference, so you are able to use the entire image as a reference. Now, what what happens if you select elements instead of selecting a single reference? So if you want to add multiple different things as a reference, you can add elements and you can drop the subject, the scene, and the style. So first off, I'm going to go into my subject and I'm going to click on history and use this person as the subject. And I'm going to click on confirm. Then I'm going to select the scene and the scene that I want is this castle scene that I've previously created. And then when it comes to the style, I might want to keep it in this kind of old medieval style. Now from here, I want the subject is sitting on a stone in front of a castle, in front of a castle. And now I'm going to be choosing the ratio that I want as well as the number of outputs that I want. I'm only going to opt for one output and then I'm just going to click on generate. And this will show you guys how we can take the same consistent character and place it in multiple different areas. Now, if you have multiple different images of your subject you can select upwards of four images for subject and if you have multiple different subjects that you want to add you can also add them so you can add upwards of four people within one singular frame or within one singular image and all of them can consistently be added into multiple different settings this is amazing for building your storybooks for building some animations or videos slideshows presentations and more so we're gonna wait until this has been created and how it's going to interpret our subject, our scene, as well as our art style. And you guys can see it has taken our subject, placed them on a stone right in front of a castle. Now, obviously I would want to change the clothing on this maybe. So I can click on expand, in paint, generate video, or set this as a reference and then restyle this image. Now I want to expand this. So I'm gonna click on expand and I can choose how I want it to expand. So let's say that I want to expand this in the form of a portrait and I want to expand it like so and I will only expand it with one output. The result will be based upon the original image if you leave it empty but if you want to add your prompt and if you want something specific in your expansion you can also specify that. I'm just going to click on expand over here and just like so the new image is going to be created. So I'm going to show you guys what we have created so far. This was our original character. This was a slightly restyled version. Then we place them in a different reference. Then we completely changed the background. Then we used the restyler or the image reference to build the subject in front of our pre-existing background. And now you guys can see this has created or expanded our image further. Now I can click on expand once more. And if I want to further expand my image, I can just further expand it however I prefer. So if I want to further expand my image, I'm just going to expand it like so. I'm going to be using one output only I'm also going to again leave the prompt blank because I want to see what it is creating for us. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be created and we are going to redo this because it was not able to properly execute this command first. So I'm going to go on ahead, go into one output and redo this expansion. Now in any case, if you ever have this kind of error where your image is not created, your credits are refunded back to you. So you don't have to worry about that in case you ever spend credits and the output does not come out. You will always be refunded. And just like so, it has expanded on the image. So this is how you can get started with building consistent characters in Kling AI. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.